there, this is Seth Juarez from DevExpress with Soma. Tell us a little bit about what you do with Microsoft. Great. So I run the developer division at Microsoft and all the developer tools in Visual Studio and Expression and .NET all come from my world. Holy cow, man, you're like the guy that provides our very world that we live in. So tell me a little bit about the exciting things that are happening in Windows 8 specifically for developers. Sure. You know, first of all, I would say, like, you know, if you haven't gotten a chance to watch the keynote yesterday, please go ahead and watch because it's a sort of a, a comprehensive preliminary look at, like, you know, what Windows 8 is all about. It's about the user experience. It's about, like, you know, the application model, the way, you know, people can build Metro-style immersive applications, the way people can, you know, bring their .NET and Silverlight investments forward. It's just, like, you know, uh, the full enchilada that you as a developer would want to know about Windows 8. That's cool. So what are some of the cool things they talked about for Dev 11 that we need to look forward to? Sure. First of all, you know, like always, you know, Dev 11 is going to be the best tool that you can think about for building Windows 8 applications, right? So we are working very, very closely with the platform team to make sure that we provide the right set of tools that enable you to take advantage of all the great platform features in Windows 8 and being able to build both Metro-style applications as well as desktop applications. So that's one big thing that we are doing in Visual Studio 11. The second thing is, like always, we believe a lot in developer productivity. So there's a number of enhancements that we are making to the Visual Studio IDE, whether it is to help you do you know, code reviews, code analysis, code this, code that, right? <laughs> there's just a ton of you know, productivity enhancing features that we are adding in Visual Studio 11. Then the third thing is, if you're working in a team environment with our ALM tools, right? Uh, Visual Studio Ultimate and all the high-end tools that we deliver, uh, we've, we've made significant improvements. Things like, you know, hey, Agile, if you're sort of interested in thinking about Agile development, we've got a lot of great work coming there. If you want to think about like, you know, hey, how do I get my customer into my team so that I can get, you know, feedback from my customer on design issues and really make them part of the process, we absolutely have that, you know, set of features built into Visual Studio 11. We think about requirements management and a way to sort of you know, track the requirements right up front before you even get started on a project. That functionality is now in Visual Studio 11. So if you are an individual developer or a developer working in a team environment, for you to be able to take advantage of the latest and greatest features in the platforms, Visual Studio 11 is the best tool. And like we said yesterday for Windows 8, where we talk about like, you know, in addition to like, you know, C Sharp and C++ and VB, we are taking a huge bet on HTML5 and JavaScript. We've got tools both in Visual Studio and in Expression Blend that provide a first-class HTML tools experience for you if you are excited about using HTML and JavaScript to build your application. So a lot of great stuff coming in Dev11. That sounds like a lot of stuff. I mean, there's been a lot of fear that, for example, C Sharp was going to go away or that XAML was going to go away. Tell them about how it's really still here. Sure. See, the, the thing that we sort of you know thought a lot about and wanted to really make sure that we're delivering on is that if you are a developer that has taken a bet on a particular technology, then we absolutely want to protect your investment and help you move your investment forward. So for example, right, you know, if, again, go, I'll go back to the keynote yesterday. In Windows 8, we are going to have XAML be available as a, as a markup language for you to do your U, UI and views, both in the Metro style environment, as well as in the desktop environment. You know, hey, it's C-sharp, if you are a C-sharp kind of guy or a VB kind of person, we absolutely you know, are going to enable you to be able to build both Metro-style applications and desktop applications on Windows 8. So your investments, your sort of you know, expertise, your knowledge, your code, we want to move it forward into this new world. Well, this is exciting. I think the most exciting part to me was that we had a tablet that Visual Studio could run on. How did you guys do that? <laughs> A lot of hard work by like you know many people in the team, but but it, it it's been a fun experience you know working with Windows trying to trying to get this uh, miles to this milestone where we get a chance to hand out to people a tablet device running Windows 8 Developer Preview and Visual Studio Developer Preview and Expression Blend Developer Preview. It's been like you know many many people in Microsoft working hard for a long time to come to this milestone that hopefully developers are going to be very excited about. That's awesome. So where can they go to learn more? Where can they read about the stuff that you're putting out? I would say like, you know, hey, uh, now go up to like, you know, any of the Microsoft website, but most importantly, there is a Windows sort of center. Uh, go there. If you're an MSDN kind of customer, you will be getting access to all of this anyway. Uh, so go up to Microsoft.com and look for this. All of this information that we talked about this week is available for you to download to give it a test drive and then let us know what you think about it. 
It's definitely an exciting time to be a Windows developer. Any parting words for our clients? I would say that the opportunities for a Windows developer is, is amazingly huge today, more than ever before, and more than any other platform that on this sort of planet kind of thing, right? Uh, one interesting statistic to think about, right? The day Windows 8 ships, okay, you're going to have at least a half a billion devices out there that have the potential to get upgraded to Windows 8, let alone all the new devices and new form factors that Windows 8 is going to be running on, right? That kind of opportunity for you to show off your innovation and be able to reach a broad set of customers and hopefully monetize the work, the opportunities on Windows is the best. Well, thanks so much for spending a minute with us, Soma. Thanks for watching again, and thanks for choosing DevExpress.